Greetings, YouTube. The screenshot you are looking at is truly incomprehensible. Think about the fact that we opened hundreds of thousands, millions of greater gifting crystals, and uh, maybe somebody got this in two greater gifting crystals, but it certainly never reached my account. The odds of this happening are almost impossible. I um, have never, of course, opened a six-star nexus from a featured cab, and I've probably opened about $1,500 worth of of them since the Nexus Crystals came into the game. Uh, but what's really surprising about this, normally I would say record everything, and I still think that is a takeaway from this video, but Mr. Zimmer, who uh, opened these, was at an airport with very little signal, probably terrible Wi-Fi, if any, and just trying to stall time. And so he opened 600 units worth of featured calves and pulled... A five-star Nexus and a six-star Nexus. I'm really excited. I'm sure you've, if you clicked on this video, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to use this as a thumbnail. I've never, never had a chance to work on this as a thumbnail. It, it brings my creativity and my storytelling spirit to life when I see this. That's also how you know you're a YouTube nerd when you think about thumbnails and get excited. Um, but this is also a little bit of a PSA because my heart is hurting right now. For those of you who have reached out to me, who despite my very scathing critique of today's offers, went ahead and bought especially the Scarlet Witch bundles anyway, and you realize that you spent $100 to, in multiple cases, get 10 three-stars? That's what those absolutely insane, terrible drop rates are supposed to do. You're supposed to get almost all, if not all, three-stars, maybe a four-star from those, which is why normally the price tag is $29.99 at the most, but today, because they gave you 10 crystals instead of 5, it was $50, which gave some summoners the illusion or the false expectation based off of drop rates alone that if you spend $100, you got to at least get one 5-star, right? Well, you didn't even get one 4-star. And so um, I'm just trying to reiterate to those of you out there who maybe uh, don't realize when I say this is the Marvel Casino of Champions that... There is a certain addiction to opening crystals, just like it would be walking into a casino and pulling the handle of the slot machine. Even though, even in that scenario, you have a chance to get your money back, here you don't. It's not like you can file a class action lawsuit against Kabam because you spent $100 on all three stars. They're going to say, sorry, we posted the drop rates, thanks for giving us your money, and it's going to make the game worse, it's going to make your day worse, it's going to make your whole year worse. And so... Uh, I don't try to spend too much time talking about gambling addiction on my channel because honestly it's a very serious and, and certainly depressing subject, but at the same time it's very real in a mobile game that is built with the same algorithms and mechanics that a casino would be. And so today was an example of charging a very high cover price for a very small amount, if any, of guaranteed value, particularly for the Grandmaster one that didn't even have the six star shards built in. It was just 10 crystals and a couple of 20% champion boost even though it was the price that you normally get 30 percent champion boost three of them for the early access bundles of the cavalier scale so without further ado i know that was a tangent but i wasn't going to make two separate videos i wanted to cover that topic in this video by itself he did end up sending what the six star nexus looked like and wouldn't you know it he got a another dupe of his long shot nah awakening bishop Psh. awakening void heck yeah now, I don't know, I guess I should have asked him before recording this, uh, how many six stones, if any, he has of the science class to put in here. I would hope that that would be at least an option for him because, keep in mind, Void is a classic puzzle piece champ, as I call them on my channel. Getting the champion is a third of the puzzle piece. The second third is awakening that champion in the last third and most important and most expensive when you break down how much they still expect you to pay for six star six stones is as close to max sig at least over a SIG 100 probably for Void as possible. And so Awakening him, of course, gets him to SIG 20, but he's still 180 SIGs away from max SIG. So congratulations, Zimmer. Uh, this is one of those, don't expect to ever see this. I have only opened one Nexus Crystal in my life in Featured Cavs. Again, that's about $1,500 worth of units worth. And that was a five-star Nexus, of course. Will I ever get a six-star Nexus? Probably not. But one can hope. So you're saying there's a chance. In the meantime, I want to say congratulations to Zimmer, and I very much appreciate you hitting me up to let me know, even though you were in an airport, you got amazing luck. In fact, if you're in an airport, you might as well say it. This luck, 
was pretty fly, even if screenshots meant that you had to wing it.